So check this out. I found a Python GTK application to view and clean metadata from files. Let's check it out. What's up guys, this is Josh back with another video. And today, like I said in the intro, I want to show you guys a metadata cleaner. And that is the exact name of the application. It's an application you can use on a Linux operating system. Uh, I believe currently they have a flat pack, so I'll get it installed on Ubuntu. But I really wanted to show you guys this because this is a awesome application to get rid of the metadata from files. And majority of the time, this helps out with privacy uh, because a lot of times when you take pictures, well, pretty much in all modern cameras, uh, even on your phone and everything, there is metadata that's stored within that image. After you take it, it shows like location data. It shows the type of camera that actually, you know, took the image. It's a lot of information that you kind of don't want to get out there. Uh, and every time you upload these pictures, you know, to all these different social media sites, they actually strip out that metadata. They use that metadata to, that's how they automatically come up with the location of where you actually took it. It's because that meta metadata is there. And to me, that's kind of a bad thing, uh, in my opinion, because you don't want to give over that information willingly, if you get what I'm saying. So this application will clean out that metadata so you're not sharing it along with the image that you're sharing, wherever you're putting this image or video, you know, whatever. So let's hop over to my Ubuntu install and show you guys metadata cleaner. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, check this out. I'm on my Ubuntu 22.04 uh, install and I already have the website up, but I wanted to show you guys the main website for Metadata Cleaner. Uh, so this is what you can go to. And of course, I always have the links down in the description of the video so you guys can check it out. But as you can see, this is a very simple application. Uh, it's an awesome application. You can select even, you know, multiple files and go through and remove the metadata. Like for instance, this file that they're showing right here, this example, uh, it has the information about that file. So a JPEG, uh, Apple, iPhone, that's what it was taken on. Uh, the current date and time when it's like a timestamp of when you actually took this photo. And it also has location data, which you can't see. But if you scroll down into it, you can see a lot of the other data that's there. And let me just read what it says right here. But it says metadata within a file can tell a lot about you. Cameras record data about when and where a picture was taken and which camera was used. Office applications. And so this is talking about like on Windows when you transfer your images to your Windows uh, computer or something to that effect. Uh, office applications will automatically add author and computer information to documents and spreadsheets. Uh, so if you want to remove that, let's say you want to share this document with someone, uh, and I assume they was talking about images or whatever, but they're talking about the documents and spreadsheets, which I kind of already knew. That's something that they do as well. Uh, they put that information in the actual uh, documents and spreadsheets when you're creating something. Uh, so if you want to, you know, remove that so people don't know who actually created the file or the computer information that it was created on, then you can use this you can use this application. But it says this is sensitive information and you may not want to disclose and that's exactly what i'm saying so uh, metadata cleaner allows you to view metadata in a file and get rid of it as much as possible and let me go over to the GitLab's page because it has a little bit more information i just wanted to show you guys this is all the files for the actual uh 
application, but it also shows you how to install it from source if you need to. They have a flat pack. Uh, like I said, you can install it via FlatHub, but I'm gonna show you guys how to install it because it is in the software center. So let's go down and minimize that website and then uh, let's go down and search for it, but it's called Meta Data and Cleaner. So I'm gonna press enter. Well, there we go. So metadata cleaner. All we have to do is click on that, hit install, and we'll get this thing installed. And it shouldn't take too long to get it, you know, going. Uh, but you'll see, you know, it'll go through and it'll show you guys that it's installed in there. Also give you some information about it, uh, as well as the project website, which, you know, that goes right to that site we was just at, as well as the ratings. A lot of people say do not install. Well, one person says that no install. When I try to install, it fails in the middle. Uh, please report bugs. Uh, works as advertised. So uh, some people are saying it works as advertised. But let's see. So it looks like it's installed. So we're good to go. Um, and it says the latest version was updated about a year ago. So 1.0.8. Um, but we good to go. It's installed. Let's go through and try to find it right fast. And then I'm going to also connect to some files. Uh, and that way we can see this thing in action. So there we go. So all you have to do is click up here and it will open up a directory for you or you can select the directory you know that you want to look at i'm gonna hit cancel for right now just to go through the menu a little bit but this is how you get to your settings though but you can open up a new window they got lights uh weight mode so that's i guess less uh heavy on the resources it probably won't look as let's actually look at it right fast and see what it looks like i might have to close it and open it back up just to see uh, so let's go back to it see what it looks like when it opens up uh, it looks pretty much the same uh, not sure what that light mode does so whatever lightweight mode but notes about uh, metadata and privacy notes about removing metadata you know keyboard shortcuts and the about uh, there we go so and then you got your typical navigation so minimize maximize and uh, exit so now let's get some files on here so we can go through and play around with removing metadata. All right, so it took me a couple minutes, but I had to get some pictures off my share drive. As you can see, it's, uh, let's see, it's from like Thanksgiving 2019. It's just showing the food or whatever. But I just wanted to get some files so we can look at the metadata for it. So let's go down and open up a directory and as you can see that's all i did was hit the plus right here this is basically opening a folder so i'm gonna click on my pictures folder hit open yeah hit open that should open it up uh and actually let's open up all the files in here all right let's see if we can select them all yeah there we go so hit open there we go and so it'll go through and grab all these files and then you can look at the metadata so for instance this is that first file so 6638 or that's 40 i'm not sure why it's out of order uh but let's click on it there we go and so there is the metadata for it as you can see it was taken by a canon power shot uh they even have a whole bunch of information about how the camera actually took it like the exposure time um the iso uh, sensitivity type uh, so it's just a whole bunch of information uh, red eye reduction auto quality you know fine um, the shutter speed is it's crazy all the information that's stored in these files like this um, so it's and it's needed well I guess they made it to where it's needed on a lot of these social media sites uh, and they so they could display the images correctly and when they go through and, and do their processing, uh, they use a lot of this information for that processing, but it's, it's really not needed. They're just so used to getting it and people just giving it to them. You know what I'm saying? That, <laughs> that they don't even have to worry about it. They just write it into whatever scripting they do to process the photos once you upload them. But it also has like a image unique identifier. Um, let me see. It's, 
it even shows like it should show some location information uh large thumbnails or jpeg like i said earlier uh but a lot of times you'll see some location information i'm not sure where it is on here uh i haven't played around with this one in a while but the resolutions uh, the x resolution the y resolution um but it's just a lot of information you don't really want to get anybody um in my opinion so it's best to go on it and clean the metadata so let's click on it let me show you guys how to do it right fast so we got that first one selected all we have to do is hit clean or actually it's going to clean them all uh whichever ones we sh we sh we added you know what i'm saying and you can go through and look at them all just to check it out you know as much as you can just hit clean it'll go through and process all 17 of those folders and if you once you hit save it'll save that it'll replace those files uh, and it's no way of going back to it now all I did was copy these files from another location um, so that metadata is stored you know in the original file so these are just copies so but once you go back I just wanted to point that out once you once you do it you can't go back you know what I'm saying so all you have to do is hit OK and we are good to go so we can close the actual application now actually I should have I should have kept it open um, but let's open it back up and let's add in those files again so let's go to pictures and select all of these and hit open boom and as you can see this you know is a good thing by having that question mark there doesn't have any metadata there so awesome application you know what i'm saying this and you can do this for files uh, so like if you had like a, a word document or a spreadsheet or something and you want to get rid of the information associated with those files then you can go through and do the exact same thing as just did here and as you can see multiple files can be done at one time you know what i'm saying uh so you don't have to you know go one file at a time to clear the metadata you can select as many files as you need add them in here and remove the uh the metadata so let's go down and close that but i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh like i said that's an awesome application i want you guys to try it out on your linux system you know what i'm saying and this is something you can use to kind of protect your privacy as best you can uh in these days of everything being tracked and and all that so <laughs> Uh, if you have any questions, leave comments down in the comments below. If this is your first time here, go down and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll constantly be coming in with the content that's trying to help people get into the IT field as well as learning the Linux operating system. So, hope you guys have a wonderful day. And of course, keep it techie.